Welcome to our first Hogwarts Legacy how-to mod video. It's really early in the modding days for Hogwarts Legacy, but I wanted to go over with you the most popular installation method currently being used for mods. And while this is the most popular modding method, it isn't the only one available. It's worth noting that this could very well change down the road, and it probably will, so make sure to read any mod descriptions carefully to ensure that they actually utilize this modding method before trying it. To prepare, you'll need to make sure you have a program that can open up .rar and .zip files. I personally use 7-zip and will leave a link for it in the description of this video. To start, you'll need to locate your game folder. If you don't know where that is and you're on Steam, you can right click on the game in your library, hover over manage and then click on browse local files. You should now be in your Hogwarts Legacy game folder. Open your Phoenix folder, then content, then packs. Once inside that folder, you should see a bunch of files. Please don't touch any of them unless a mod specifically tells you to do so. In this folder, we're going to make a brand new folder. Title it Tilled Key Mods. The Tilled Key is your squiggle line key that you get from hitting the shift and then the key to the left of the number one at the top of your keyboard. It should all be one word and make sure it's mods with an S at the end. Now download your mod of choice that uses this installation method, unpack it and drag and drop the file into the folder you just made. If you intend to install a lot of mods, it's a good idea to create folders for each of the mods to keep things nice and organized. Now you can hop on into the game and see if the mod is working. To uninstall mods, simply delete them from your mods folder. If the mod you're wanting to install mentions drag and drop into Phoenix folder or something similar, it more than likely is utilizing this method. You can download the mod, unpack it, and see its folder structure. If it's identical to the one we created, you can install it as mentioned above, or simply drag and drop the modder's Phoenix folder into your game folder. If you have a mod that isn't working and it says to drop the file into the pack folder, but doesn't mention the mods folder, you can try moving it into your mods folder instead to see if that fixes the issue for you. Also, if there is a mod you want to make sure is at the bottom of your load order for whatever reason and you're keeping things organized in folders, simply add a Z to the start of the folder name to ensure that it goes to the bottom of your folder list. Therefore, it'll take the most priority in your load order. Please remember that as of making this video, it's still very, very early days in modding for this game. So we're not 100% sure how modding will affect save files or survive during any game updates down the road. So make sure to keep an eye on your favorite mods for future updates. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching and happy modding.